here I am in this beautiful swamp. There's lots of different things going on here. You have some dark, murky water, but it's teeming with life. And some of this life you can't even see with your own eyes because it's that small. Fun fact, there's more microorganisms in this swamp right here than there are people in the entire world. Just think about that. Microorganisms are very, very small organisms that we cannot see with our naked eye, as seen here. We have to use things like microscopes or electron microscopes in order to see these. So, not only do microorganisms play a role in this ecosystem, they also play a role in our soils ecosystem. So, they make up a very, very small percentage of our soil's volume, less than 1% actually, but they have a huge, huge role. Our microorganisms in our soil, they come in six main types. So, we have uh, actomycin, bacteria, fungi, blue-green algae, protozoa, and nematode. Each of these have a different form, shape, and function but we'll go into depth for two of them. So all microorganisms are either aerobic or anaerobic. Aerobic means they need oxygen in order to carry about their normal functions. That means they need to breathe like me and you. Anaerobic microorganisms do not need oxygen in order to carry about their normal functions. So, the two types that we're going to be talking about today are bacteria and fungi. Let's start with bacteria. So, bacteria are very important in soil ecosystems because they cause many different physiological changes to happen. A physiological change is either like the movement of matter or the changing of a matter from one state to another. Some examples of bacteria at work is a bacteria fermenting loose sugars in the soil. This process produces gas, which causes the soil to move, and that allows roots to grow better, or that allows other things such as water or snow to come in. Fermentation does not only produce gas, but it also can cause the soil to become more acidic. Another thing that bacteria can do is they can perform different reactions which can either produce or consume water which changes the water content in your soil. So next we are going to talk about the fungi. So the fungi are the decomposers of our soil ecosystem. So what they do is they take large organic organisms and break them down into small essential nutrients that other things that live in the soil can use. Not only do they break things down, but they also produce other compounds that can help ward away bad bacteria or bad fungi. Also, they help control the amount of water in the soil ecosystem by either taking in water or releasing water. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.